Welcome back. In this video, we will configure the appearance settings. Under appearance settings, there are two options available. The first is to enable the plugin typography and the second is to change the recipe colors. Let's go into plugin typography option first. When this toggle is enabled, it will use the fonts that are specified by the plugin. But if you disable the toggle, then it will inherit the fonts from the theme that you are currently using. To show you the difference, we will go into the customizer settings of the theme. To go to the customizer settings, you have to go to appearance first and click on customize. I'm going to open the link in the new tab. Now let's go into one of the recipes. Scroll down to our recipe card. We will try changing the fonts of our recipe card. So go into appearance settings and we will go to typography. Let's try changing the primary and the secondary font. So under primary font, let's try selecting one of the fonts. And you can see there are no changes in the recipe card. Similarly, even if you change the secondary font, you will see that there are no changes in your recipe card whatsoever. But if you look at your overall site, you can see the changes have been made. Now, to change the font of your recipe card and to be able to use the options of the primary and secondary font of the theme, let's go back to our dashboard and we will disable the toggle. Click on Save Changes. We will go back and now we will try changing the primary font. Let's try one of the fonts from the list of available fonts. Okay, let's go with this one. As you can see, changing the font of our recipe card is now possible. And along with the primary font, you can also see the changes in the secondary font. You can go ahead and select the secondary font from the list of available fonts. But for you to be able to use the primary and secondary fonts of your theme, you'll have to go back and you'll have to disable the enable plugin typography toggle option here. Now again, if you enable the toggle, click on save changes, then go back to the customizer and try changing your primary font. Let's try this one. You will see that the fonts of your recipe card will not change, even though the changes will be applied to the rest of your website. Let's go back. The next option is to change the recipe colors. If you go to our site and open any recipes, you will see that the color of the recipe card is this green and mint green color. You will be able to change the color of your recipe card with the help of recipe colors options. That way you can easily use the theme colors of your brand. Now we will try changing the color of our recipe card. Let's go back. And to change the color, you only have to select the color from the color palette option that are available here. Or you can also move around the slider here. Or you can also add in the hex value or RGB color values. You can do the same for the secondary color. For the primary color, I'm going to select a dark shade of red. And to match the primary color. For my secondary color, I'm going to add in a lighter shade of red color. So let's go with this one over here. Now click on save changes. Let's go back to our site and we will give it a refresh. And as you can see, the color of our recipe card has now changed. You can easily select the color of your preference and play around with the options to select the color of your recipe card. I'm going to go back and change it back to the colors they were before, but you can easily go ahead and select the primary and secondary color for your recipe card. Click on save changes and if you go back, give your site a refresh, you will see the recipe card color has changed back to this light green and mint green color. So that was it about appearance settings. In the next video, we will go to permalink settings.